We've been over to Marks and Spencers. We have. We've been after this one for ages. We checked it out, and guess what? Give us over. It's not that we haven't been over at all. We're the only one. It's about a mile and a half away from us. Yeah, I know. So it's somewhere that we don't. Obviously, in lockdown, we don't get over to that um, there. And when we have been over there, the queue outside Marks and Spencers has been big. horrendous. But um, so I'm coming to realise that some of the queues are coming down quite quick. Really, it looks horrendous sometimes, but actually. You're not in it for that long. No, so really, um, to be fair. So you like um, chocolate a stout and chocolate. I'm sure a stout. A stout. Mm. I can't remember. I'm so sorry about that. Um, uh, so you like a stout. Um, I mentioned this to you when I saw they came out because I think they got three or four new 440 mils into um, Mark Suspensers. I've picked up three of them. One of them's a goes. I can't be fucked with it. I can't. I, I, I might get round to it. Sort of sum, summertime, um, so I picked up. Um, there's Radiant Fog, the Magic Rock. Ooh, there's an Electric Bear, um, uh, Pale Ale, and this one. Um, the thing is, you know what I noticed? Chocolate. The can covering. So it makes it look like it's a creamy drink because, hmm. and it says Cafe Creme. So we have. De la Creme. We've done an Arbor beer. Uh, well, we've done an Arbor and a, a new Bristol brewery. Um, that was a key lime. Uh, pie IPA yeah. um, back in August, I think it was last year. Mm -hmm. um, Arbor haven't got a big footprint in supermarkets, so yeah. I think this is them dipping their toe. Okay. Okay. So this one, Wanda, is there as you've absolutely rightly said. They're, uh, Arbor out of um, I think they're out of Bristol, that that sort of way. Yeah, it says we are going like Bristol. Um, Arbor Cafe Creme broke down and had the worst Fucking experience ever. Horrendous. Um, Arbor's, Arbor's Cafe Creme and it's a co coffee. Coffee and chocolate. And chocolate stout. I actually do like a chocolate bar with a cup of coffee. That'd be lovely. Well, for, for, uh, for someone that when we started this channel, A, didn't like beer nope. at all. Nope. Um, and now we've, we've, we've addressed some of that. Mm -hmm. But also, your probably three favourite beers are all stouts. Obviously they're the chocolate or one of white stout and a couple of chocolate ones. Mm -hmm. um, the only disappointment so is this a stout. Yep. Yeah. The only disappointment for me to begin with, without even opening it, is that Arbor generally deal in five, six, eight, so a full point can. Right, this yeah. one's obviously at a four forty mil to get into the supermarket. Yeah. Um, and Maybe I there's some criteria that and got I to meet. Yeah, and I so understand that's why. probably it's probably not their fault. No, and I understand why. So um, Morrison's, Tesco's, three pa uh, three pound a can. Marks and Spencer's, three pound fifty. Can't, uh, <laughs> can't do that. For for the more um, upper class connoisseur, shall we say? Um, but obviously their like their stuff is obviously a better quality. So three pound fifty, and it is six point nine percent. Yeah, there's some nice stuff in there. I just couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a place we don't there's go. Some very nice luxury food in there that I wouldn't mind trying out, but it, it would have been ridiculous for one shot. Well, you wanted the marmite butter, didn't you? Yeah, three pounds for that small log. Yeah, that fucking big. I couldn't justify it. <laughs> probably be gone in one bite. Yeah, if it know. was about two quid, I probably would get it. Guts here. So let's get it out um, and let's see if you like it. Right, come on then. Oh, it looks chocolatey straight away, doesn't it? Are you getting anything? Well, to be honest, I've got a bit of hay fever, so <laughs> my nose is a little bit fucked up. The, uh... I'm sneezing a lot earlier. Oh, we've got uh, we've... The head looks quite brown and chocolatey. Well, you've got most of it in the glass. Yeah. Um, so we've got... I can smell it from here. With an aggressive, an aggressive pour. An aggressive pour? So I've poured in quite... quite... Right, fury, okay. A furious pour, shall we say? Coming out of all this new stuff now. Um, it's three a bit hard fingers to catch up. of mocha chocolate head. I'll just say it looks brown. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks brown, Scott. And absolutely uh, jet black. Uh, there's all these. I've just started to get used to things now. I know you're finding all these new words and new 
sayings, I'm like, ah, oh, oh, no. Keeping you on your toes, on as well. That's what we're doing. Let's, 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 get, all, let's, let's get it all in. Right, you go because you wanted this one. This is one that we've specifically picked up yeah, for you. This is coffee and chocolate. And you love a little bit of chocolate. Strong coffee. Right. That's about all I can smell. So you're not getting any of the um, the chocolate. No. Why are you swearing at people? Because I'm always swearing at me. Who? Your child. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're swearing at people. Um, so just um, coffee, mm -hmm. uh, nothing. No, well, it's quite strong in coffee okay. as well. It's probably cool. not good. Massive coffee hit. Massive, isn't it? Ooh. Espresso more than. Oh, it. we forgot to say <gasps> it's six point nine. I did say so, it's six point nine. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I must be going there. I was just getting over what you was describing, maybe. Yeah, you get you um, the roastiness, uh, massive coffee. Roasted cocoa nibs. Cocoa, cocoa, cocoa nibs. Cacao, cacao nibs. I always forget that. And yeah, coffee. okay. So it smells quite luxurious, to be fair. It smells quite nice. I don't. From aroma alone, Wanda, I don't think you're going to... I know. It's too strong in coffee, isn't it? And it's a belting hot day. taste chocolate in that okay but more coffee it's a massive coffee first and there's a huge coffee it's like an espresso in this right okay is it espresso I, um it I, i'm not i don't tend to I so it's a luxurious chocolate. oatmeal stout brewed with fresh freshly ground co um, coffee and cool. roasted cacao noodles so i'm expecting to have a, a fairly nice thick body on it there is a nice thick body on it okay it's quite creamy okay but it's quite overpowering coffee it's like a bitter coffee or right. a bitter chocolate to yeah. use. okay it's got a bitterness to it okay but it's not disgusting or anything see it's, the difference being is a, year, a year ago a year ago you would have just nah i'm not having that i think if I have a couple and got used to it, I think I might be all right, yeah. just about. A couple of sides is in there. it does remind me a bit of Cocodocus a little bit. Everything yeah, reminds you of Cocodocus. I, I, I think I'm hoping that's <laughs> good. It's staggeringly good if you watch this. Just brew the fucking Cocodocus, for God's sake. Just a keg for me. Just a keg for Wanda. Um, it looks really nice. Um, I'm, I'm I think confident. you'll enjoy that. Let's go in. Hmm. A lovely coffee. creamy feel to it. Um, really creamy. I think you'll like it more. It's got a burning taste. Carbonation is got almost, something on there. almost zero. It's really nice. Mm. Massive coffee. There is a little bit of dark chocolate in there. There's, yeah, I can taste the chocolate. Um, but nice I've bitterness. Got bitterness. There's a nice warming feeling in yeah, there as well. Still there. Might, that might be just a, for the fact that it's absolutely fucking and scorching. It's still, to no, me. it's still there. Like roasty it? toasty it's it's really nice yeah. for three pound fifty i don't think you can there's anything to moan about about that thumbs up thumbs down let's go with you first wonder um you've I'm picked it in the middle because i don't dislike it mm -hmm. if it just wasn't as they bitter took, they took some of the coffee the the, the, the roast away. and the coffeeness out uh, the co Something coffeeness that's the one it probably would have gone that way okay yeah. i think um for me if I was one or two in, then I think I don't know. I'm I think, I think I'm it's a, a bit I, unsure. I think it's a, it, it, at that price. It's got a really nice body. The, the, oat, the oats and uh, it's quite bitter. It's really it give it a nice pillowy mouth feel. Edge to it. Um, coffee, chocolate, you're getting all of those stuff for yeah. three pound fifty. It's really, really nice. Yeah. That's an easy thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, for you, isn't it? <laughs> thumbs up for me. Yeah. Uh, so for you, it's a it's a thumbs in the middle. For me. That's a solid thumbs up. Yeah. Um, I'll be back. Well, we'll have more, but they only had that one. Yeah. Um, is it's it a that popular? That's why. Is it a summer drink? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Definitely a winter drink. Winter drink. A really, that's a really nice winter drink. Um, yeah. Find us on Instagram, Wonder Be Wonder. Facebook, Wonder Be Wonder. Um, comment, uh, uh, like the video, don't like the video, don't give a fuck to the video, do whatever you like. Comment down below. Um, find us on Instagram. Facebook and Craft Beer UK and Sam's got a Desperado's. My life's just ended. See you soon.